It seems that we can now use Google Notebook LM to speak or chat with YouTube videos. Yesterday, I shot a video showing three ways to profit with Google Notebook LM. And when I made that video, this wasn't there. So this is a brand new feature. So we can see here inside of Notebook LM, we can actually now add a YouTube video link. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to this video here and copy the URL. This is a video which is related to traveling around Japan. You can see it's 31 minutes and 36 seconds long. Now, rather than having to sit through the whole video, we can now use Google Notebook LM to pull out the key points. So let's click here. We'll click YouTube video and we'll paste this in. Now remember, only public YouTube videos are supported. And it says here, if it's recently uploaded, it may not be available to import. I don't know how recent recently means. And only the text transcript will be imported. So we're gonna hit insert. And this is going to take a short while. And the longer the video, the longer it'll take. But look, it's already started to come up. So this excerpt from a YouTube video titled 12 Days in Chicago Going Off the Beaten Path, a Japan travel itinerary, offers viewers a detailed travel itinerary for exploring the islands of Shikoku, Japan. So this could be great for somebody that's thinking of going to Japan and wants to research the best places to visit in this area, but doesn't want to sit through a video that's you know 30 minutes long or an hour long. We can do all this stuff up here. We can have it generate an audio. We can have it create an FAQ study guide, etc. And that's all really useful and very valuable. But in this particular case, we're going to come down here to the chat box and we are going to ask a question about the video. So the video is a travel video. It's related to Japan and a specific area of Japan. It's an island called Shikoku, which is this island here. And if you've got 12 days to spare, what can you do here, basically? So I'm going to come here, and in this chat box, I'm going to paste this. So according to the video, what are the recommended places to visit in Shikoku? And then we're going to hit this, and it's going to basically analyze the video and give us the responses that we're looking for. So again, this might take a little bit of time, so I'm just gonna pause the video while it does its stuff. And there we go, we can see at a glance what this video recommends. So it recommends a place called Tokushima, uh, Ia Valley, and then it gives some other destinations down here which are all popular tourist attractions and places to visit on this island. Dogo Onsen is a very popular onsen. It's one of the oldest ones in Japan, as it mentions here. And it was also the scene of Spirited Away, one of the Ghibli movies. It was based on this place. You've got a lot of cool information down here. Now, if we just come up to the top and we, we've got these citations, if we click on this, it brings us to the area of the video where this comes from. And we can actually read the transcript here. It'll be a bit too early to get your room at the Daiwa Rione Hotel right next door. So drop your bags off, blah, blah, blah. So you can read it here. We can then just close this off so we get back to this screen. And we can come down and we can check all of this out. And we can go through all of these different citations to find out the part of the video where this was spoken about. And down here at the bottom, we've got some questions that could potentially be interesting for the person that's doing the research. For example, what is the name of the art museum on Naoshima Island that does not allow phones or cameras? I think it's Benesse or something similar to that, but I could be wrong. Let's click on this and see if we can find out. Oh, completely wrong. There you go. Chichu Art Museum. But we get the idea. You can play around with this. I just found this really interesting that we can take a video that is long. Obviously, if your video is a couple of minutes long, you may not need to do this. But if there's a video that's 30 minutes, an hour, two hours long, and you don't have the time to sit through it, you can run it through Notebook LM and have it pull out the key points, start chat with it, start asking questions. So let's just come here and let's ask a different question. Let's say, um, why is, let's go with Kochi Castle. Why is Kochi Castle recommended? And we'll just hit enter and see what it comes up with. And again, this could be useful for somebody that's considering visiting Shikoku and wants to plan out their trip. It could be useful for somebody that's also in the same air, same niche and is creating content about this kind of stuff and needs more information. It's gonna be great for people doing research. It's gonna be great for organizing ideas. So this is something that's brand new to Notebook LM as far as I'm aware. And it's just a very interesting feature that we can you know, take advantage of and leverage and potentially save some time when we're doing our own research. So as you can see, just 13 hours ago, I shared this video. And when I shared this video, the feature was not available. So this is something that is completely brand new. So let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think you could use this? Do you think it's beneficial? I'd appreciate a thumbs up if you like the video. Please consider subscribing and I'll see you in another video soon. Take care.